Hey guys, it's Superman here and today we're going to be doing a tutorial video on how to create or how the basics of creating uh 3D sync intros. So, um here's the thing. It's going to be a two-part tutorial video and not one massive video like some people do with like uh like 40 minutes or an hour worth of uh, tutorial videos so I'm gonna make it easier for you guys to actually uh, get one set of basics down and then go to the next set of a uh, set of basics so um, the first video is gonna consist of breaking down your music in uh, some uh, random uh, video editing software and then going to Cinema 4D and uh, making your text animation the second tutorial video is going to be all about After Effects and uh, syncing your music to the text to make it pump, to make it, to use different effects in Cinema 4, I mean in After Effects and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, leave a like on this video. Uh, let's get uh, five likes. I know that might be really low, but that's uh, that's good enough. You know, five likes, and then I'll be posting the second part of this tutorial video where I uh, teach you guys the basics of After Effects. So, um, yeah, uh, a couple people re recommended this uh, or requested this uh, type of tutorial video, so that's why I'm doing it. So, yeah, let's get on to Sony Vegas here. Uh, today, the music that I'm going to be using is Ivan Go and Phoenix Paul In My Mind, the LZRD remix. So, uh, we're going to drag it on to Sony Vegas here. Um, you guys can choose however long you want your intro to be, but I recommend 10 second long intros. I'm just saying, 10 second long intros. It's really good. Um, Alright, so, you have your music here in Sony Vegas, or whatever video editing software that you have. First thing you want to do is cut it up uh, to however long you want the song to be. My intros are all 10 seconds long unless a person requests it to be longer. So, or shorter. So, um, I have, uh, I know exactly where to cut my song because I've done this before. I've synced this, uh, this song before. So, um, I've cut it where I want the bass to drop at like two, two minutes. I mean, not two minutes, two seconds or like two and a half second area ish. So, um, I recommend the bass to drop if you have a bass drop in your song at all. I recommend a song with a bass drop to actually sync uh, your intro to. But if you have, if you want to make like a chill song or chill intro, then uh, that's a totally different story. You don't need a bass drop, obviously, because it's it's chill and chill songs do not have bass drops. So, um, here it is. The song I'm gonna. I think I might have messed up with placing the bass drop on here, but let's listen to it. All right, so yeah, I have messed it up a little bit. I don't need uh, I don't need all this shebang right here. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna cut it. So it's at 10 seconds. That's perfect for me. That's perfect for me. So um, we got here 10 seconds. We're gonna click S. Cut that little snippet off. So uh, since you've got your song right here. If you're on Sony Vegas and you guys are following this tutorial video, good for you because it's easier on Sony Vegas because um, I'll be telling you how to do the easy stuff. So, um, oh, one thing before I actually do this other thing that I'm about to show you, but um, you don't need to uh, do the whole song thing, the beginning thing. If you want, you can just randomly just make your text animation and then go into cinema for I mean, after effects and then place your music file in there if you want that's kinda harder I'm just saying it's kinda harder so uh, I'm showing you guys the easier way with uh, cutting up your music at 10 seconds first and then going into after effects and then uh, syncing it up and then like doing the whole cinema 40 thing that I'm gonna show you so yeah uh, you got your music here you wanna play it out and then click M where the bass drops That'll help you in the future, just saying. So let's try that. Alright, so I got I got that. I got that down. Uh, I'm going to have to move it a little bit because it did kind of fail. So yeah, we got it at 1 second and 22 milliseconds. So let's minimize this window and let's go into Cinema 4D. We're going to open up Cinema 4D here. And uh, this is where all the magic happens. Alright, so... You open up Cinema 4D here, untitled, brand new, um, brand new file, uh, not file, brand new uh, project file. Uh, you go into your settings tab right here. 
you go in here and you can choose uh, any sort of aspect ratio with height whatever you want to do and then uh, yep yeah, that's it with height change your resolution if you want I'm gonna keep the frame rate at 30 I don't want it to be awesome 60 FPS intro so yeah let's close that window down you've got this right here uh, since mine is 10 seconds long I'm gonna change this little number 3 to 10 and then uh, expand this all the way to the end so now you got 300 frames for 30 FPS 10 seconds long so now what you want to do is uh, if you have a Lightroom you open that up uh, I have a Lightroom and I think I just screwed this up so um, alright so I, I might have just messed up uh, a little bit so to fix this issue here let's exit that out alright so this is basically just uh, what we had in the beginning alright I just opened up a Lightroom and it had all these mats and stuff like that you guys may not have mats uh, but those of you who do it's good because you have some preset colors and stuff like that um, okie dokie so um, now what you want to do is uh, since you have your project file don't worry about how I opened up the, 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 the HDRI Lightroom thing and then randomly another project file open stuff like that that won't happen for you just saying for those people that are thinking oh my goodness wow why is my screen look a little bit different than his hey, it's okay it's all good so first things first you want to go into your mode graph right here and then go into mode text alright you got your mode text right here that's your text object my computer's lagging a little bit alright so that's your text object right here uh, you want to change your text object to something different I'm just gonna keep it as text or you know what I'm gonna make it yeah you know what I'm gonna keep it as text alright let's make it as text alright you guys want to change your font to whatever you want to change it to um, I'm gonna change it to where's the, where are the P's alright prime time prime time best font around yeah I love this font alright um, alright so now what you want to do is I'm just gonna center it uh, now what you want to do is uh, you want to design your text to whatever you like um, this is what I like to do I like to go to 75 copy that paste that and then go into caps fill a cap double fill a cap you guys don't have to do this I'm just doing this for uh, visual appeal if you guys uh, if you so so to speak so um I like to change this to 60 click enter and then go into this little uh, window right here I have a separate tutorial on how to make uh, better text so yeah you guys can go check that out um, let's zoom in here and uh, let's put in some uh, some basic colors let's put in uh, something something that looks good let's put in green let's put in green there and then a solid white here so uh, let's put the come on there we go let's put this both as cubic seamless alright we got some good looking text now so now what you want to do is you want to have to start your animation so to start your animation you're gonna have to have a camera alright you gotta put your camera right there camera little little square thing click your square thing that way the green little light around here will be gone and you will see what the camera sees so the camera is basically what you render it's um, it's what the video consists of whatever the camera sees is gonna be in your video just saying okay so don't mess around with your camera just yet now you want to go into your Sony Vegas uh, file that you still have open or whatever text object I uh, not text object uh, video programming software you have and then you go to your marker where you uh, marked off the the beat the bass drop thing and you want to go open up a calculator I mean, you gotta want to do this you gotta want to open up a calculator calculator I spelled calculator wrong I think but yeah we have a calculator right here not gonna do some uh, mental math so we gotta do this 22 divided by 30 alright we got 22 divided by 3.733 alright remember that number so it's 1.733 alright let's go here there we go see as you can see 1.733 right here that's where the text would be in normal mode alright so you go to your camera you click this okay all good now alright so now you know exactly which frame the bass drops for your intro that's good now you know exactly what happens there and yeah okay so um, this is a lousy tutorial <laughs> if you guys think so 
so sorry. I'm trying my best to actually make this good. All right, uh, let's uh, let's undo this. I didn't explain that. All right, so um, I had this separate tutorial on how to make smooth camera movements. Um, I'm not gonna really explain what I'm gonna do next because that's a different tutorial video uh, that I already have on my channel. So what I'm basically doing is I'm centering off uh, the text object, the text group. Um, so you guys can uh, make the camera have a target uh, to um, yeah so yeah uh, now you go into camera cinema 4d go down to target all this is also included in the previous tutorial video that I have done um, as you can see the camera wherever I go the camera is focused on the text object itself so since we already have the camera keyframe there every time we move it it goes it snaps back onto 52 keyframe and uh, this um, this this thing yeah this visual thing okay so now what you want to do is you want to make all the cool stuff happen before and after the 52 keyframe or whatever keyframe the bass drop thing happened for you in your uh, in your intro so uh, before 52 what I want to do is I want to uh, make it zoom out so I scrolled back out or you can just use this little tab thing right here uh, and then you go to your camera you go to coordinates and then I what I like to do is I like to tilt it um, this is not usually how I make my intros I usually have a circle along with the camera so that I can have like virtual 3d movements with the camera this is just a simplified version just saying okay so we have this here and then we have it see it's moving it's moving that's your simple text animation but now since since this is see, see this is really slow like it's a really slow movement into the 52 keyframe it doesn't give that BAM effect uh, that happens in the song so what you want to do is so at 40 keyframe uh, you want to change it up a little bit you want to change it up a little bit to make it do this or this or something I'm just gonna do something random and uh, make it a little bit different so it kind of uh, see as it go I, boom there we go see boom alright so what I actually wanna make it a little bit further make it so the text goes like this and then boom it goes snaps right onto there alright so you can also add a little text effect. You can make the text do this, and then um, you just keyframe the text to wherever it's at. So then you can have a little more of an effect. So you you keyframe it. This is what you keyframe with, by the way, for those of you that do not know who, or who do not know. Um, so yeah, you got this right here. Um, you go to your camera. You figure out exactly which keyframe that it snaps onto. Uh, by the way, you want to make it like almost exact. Like you want to know exactly which keyframe uh, it's um it's at. So yeah, I usually make it like twirl a little bit. Uh, let's make it at 360 exact, and then there we go. See, as you can see now, it goes like that, and then goes like that. So while it's doing that, it's twirling. So it has like dual movements and it makes it look better. Um, again, this is a very simplified version. Not exactly what I do but it's stuff that you guys can do so now what you want to do is you want to go into your camera and add a little bit of an extra movement make it tilt a little bit and uh, if you want to get real fancy make it like uh, do some extra movements while like it's synced to the music like if you have like a, a part of the music that goes like that makes you feel like the text should be going up then you make it go up. If it makes you feel like you want the text to go down, then you make it go down. All that stuff. So yeah, the ba I, again, this is very basic, simple basics of how to make a tut uh, um, not how to, make, how to make a tutorial, but how to make a 3D sync text intro. So you got you got like the different camera movement right here. Sometimes it automatically does some wonky stuff to your uh, to your text. But um, what you want to do is, since that's kind of weird, you know what? I'm gonna keep it, just uh, just for the sake of it. Uh, just for the heck of it. Sorry, not the sake of it. Um, so yeah, uh, you don't want to have the have the whole animation do all this weird stuff uh, until like the whole 10 seconds is over. You want to make it 
uh, like at like 260 frames or like like a couple like maybe a second and a half before the whole intro is over so you can have like a outward like blend outward finishing text movement so I usually have it until like 260 and then keyframe it and then make it go like to the center again and then do this and then zoom all the way in that way it's like um it's like uh it's like it's zooming outward it's like it's like an outro it's like all right bye bye that's it there we go see so yeah you have all that so this is basically how you make uh the animation part so yeah fun stuff like that animation um if you want you can import in your music uh like this just to um just to see uh, if it actually, if the music actually fits in with the intro. So uh, what I do here is go to Sony Vegas or whatever video editing software you have. Um, you render, you render out the the music. Let's just render as untitled. No, you know what? I'm not gonna render as untitled. Let's do uh, text because that's the the text is the text. Okay. So <laughs> um, now what you want to do is I'm saying um so much in this tutorial video, but yeah. Uh, now what you want to do is, uh, if you want to put in your music in here, into the Cinema 4D thing, you want to go into MoGraph, and you want to go into Effector. The Effector tab right here, go all the way down. You want to go into Sound. Since you have your sound right here, you want to go into Effector, Sound, Sound, Effector, Sound File. Click these three dots inside of the circle, inside of the oval thing. And then uh, go all the way down and find your music file. So I have the text music file thing right here. Now. Sorry, that was loud. All right, now since you put it all the way to the end, you can play it. See, there you got your music. Now I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna unclick that so then it won't be like blaring out while I'm talking. But yeah, that's the basics of the Cinema 4D part. Just saying, get yeah, far more complicated with that. You can put in, uh, what do you call those things? You can put in a delay. Yeah, you can put in a delay. Uh, one of those like spline movements, and, uh, and then you can put in like different shapes that come in, all that stuff. But, uh, yeah, you guys wanted to, well, not you, all you guys, but, like, a couple of you guys wanted a simple, like, basic text, not basic, basic, yeah, it is basic, basic text intro tutorial. So, yeah, um, this, that's pretty much the basics of, uh, how I do my Cinema 4D part. Um, yeah, you guys can make it far better. I usually do, um, basics again. So, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, leave a thumbs up on this video. Uh, give it, give it five likes and then I'll be posting the second part of this tutorial video with the After Effects, uh, After Effects part where I, um, do this. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Not over yet. Not over yet. I forgot to show you how to how to render this out okay so you guys want your camera movements into uh... into after effects right so you go into settings you go into save and then you save it wherever you want to save let's create a new folder called text and then double click that i usually do frame all capital letters and then put three dots afterwards and click save and then uh... create it as a png file if you want to have different backings which i usually do well actually i always do except for that one intro Okay get an off topic so PNG image uh, you want to click all these alpha channels straight alpha 8 death ring 8 bit death ring include sound all this copy these settings and then you want to click this bottom little thing cl drop down composition com compass compositing project file and click save after effects relative include 3d data and then save it in the same place that you saved the um, or you have the project actually rendered so frame dot 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 and then you click save so um, now you have your uh, three uh, you have your camera into your um, into your folder so you have uh, you open up your text folder and see it's right here you have your camera saved and uh, your lights saved and stuff like that into uh, this um, this little AEC file so um, what you do with this is gonna be the next tutorial video so yeah 
All you have to do now is just render this out and then wait for the next tutorial video and I'll show you how to do the After Effects part. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to leave a comment, like the video, and subscribe. Bye guys, have a good day, and uh, peace.